What's up, Hobby Friends and Fam? This is Bobby. Good morning to you. Hope your weekend's going good. I know mine is. I want to just quickly do a very, very fast recap on some card show finds that I found yesterday. So I went to a local card show in Hickory, North Carolina, and it's a one-day show, and I work on Saturday, so I only have an hour or two to go in. I went in with about 75 bucks, just trying to find a few dollar deals. Um, nothing special, and I came away with uh, that. So what is that? Um, these boxes, uh, this guy, there's advantages and disadvantages to going to a card show either early, like like a first day of a show, or late, the last few hours of a show. Uh, if you go, if you don't get to go early, then you miss out on the freshest stuff, um, which usually gets picked over really fast. If you go late, you can oftentimes come away with um, steals. And uh, that's what this was. I mean, it wasn't a steal. It was, it started out at $15 a box. And this guy just must have bought a collection and he just, and they were a quarter a piece or $15 a box. I got them all for $6 a box. And uh, I'm going to um, do a part two and kind of go through, I'm trying not to go all Blair Witch on us here, but I'm going to do a part two and go through what all is in here. But it wasn't just like it was a bunch of just super duper commons. I mean, there's a lot of um, basketball, baseball, football, NASCAR, um, and some other, even hockey. Um, and it was just loaded full of, of, of star power, like almost like it was some some guy's, you know, collection. Um, and uh, it was just... Uh, um, this box here has a ton. Of, it was all top loaded. I mean, it's six dollars a box, you know. Um, some Grant Hills. Um, a lot of old. Um, and it's not like it was a lot of uh, uh, early '90s or anything like like just junk wax. I mean, there's uh, this box has just got a, a a ton of NASCAR in it. And, uh, it's, uh, it's ridiculous how much NASCAR is in it. So, Danny, we'll, uh, we'll talk about some of that. Um, huge Frank Thomas fan I was, and I sold off all my Frank Thomas, uh, cards back in the day. Well, I think I might have gotten a bunch of them back, so, some Albert Bells. So, and then, um, this was a cool, these, uh, Look at these. These are these thin sleeve type deals. And these are um, all 70, 77 and 79. I didn't really see a ton of star power in here, um, but I'm not that familiar with some of the cards. So I'll have to go through them individually and just kind of um, see what's what. This box is all uh, all mostly football. I mean, there's, there's hollows in there. Um, there's numbered cards. Um, old Revco sets. It was cool because these cards cards were all sleeved up. There it was. I saw it. Come here. Where'd you go? There he is. Some not in the best of shape, but I mean, some of them nostalgia will, will be worth it. This is the box I wanted because it had a bunch of football. My dogs are all in here running around. But a bunch of uh, football... So we'll go through them, sort them out. I'm going to organize them. Lastly, um, they had a, a section and there was a whole bunch of people around this table and I couldn't figure out why, but they had full sets of cards and they were a dollar a box, a dollar a set. And by the time I had grabbed a few and realized what was going on, um, <laughs> a couple other guys came by and bought the other like, I don't know, 87 sets and just snagged them all up and tried to grab these out of my hand. That was kind of ridiculous. So that's that. I'm going to pause for a moment and go in and just kind of hit on a couple of uh, singles that I did purchase. Uh, nothing special, but I just wanted to point this out. I'm going to sort it and do a part two, which might be a little bit of a longer video, and just kind of show you what all was in here. All right. So here's a few of the, um, the uh, 
the singles that I did buy. It wasn't many because, like I said, <laughs> after going through all those boxes, I didn't have much time. The key to all those boxes, too, is I really couldn't go through and, like, mix them out. So while I didn't really want a lot of basketball, there is there is some in there. And uh, and some, but a lot of, I mean, there's some Jordans in there, um, you know, Magic Johnson's birds, all kinds of stuff that I look forward to kind of going through. Also, some mid-90s stuff, some... There's a couple of Kobe's in there, um, and that's about it. So, um, lastly, a few singles that I did buy. Um, I did uh, kind of raid a couple dollar bins. Like I said, I was on a budget, and um, did find um, a couple uh, cards that really kind of interested me. Um, I got this just because, uh, well, I got it for a buddy, but also uh, I was really intrigued. I I'm, a, I'm a sucker for patches, <clears throat> and. Uh, I just I always wanted a card with a football patch. I got this Ben Tate just for the same reason. One, it was an auto. I mean, he doesn't play anymore. If he does, I don't really know where if he's in, you know. But it was a numbered, you know, rookie patch auto. I thought it was pretty cool. Found a, a hockey box and I found a couple of uh, um, Sidney Crosby's. I did just get one, and uh, and, and Evgeny Malkin. I am a Pens fan. Um, for the PC, for the Browns, I did get this uh, Joe Thomas number 25 in the dollar bin. Uh, Caleb Brantley, a numbered autograph. Isaiah Crowell was kind of a bust, but and it's hit, but uh, it was on card one and two. I think the guy pretty much just gave it to me. Um, Pierre just... The Desheer was a cornerback very briefly. Um, I don't know what ever came out of his uh, career, but I got a couple of these uh, late autographs for like, it was like four for two bucks. So, uh, Tim Couch, game worn jersey. Um, he was obviously the first quarterback to come back into the league, and uh, or when when uh, when the Browns came back into the league in uh, 1999. So, I thought that was cool. Got a. Joe Hayden Topps rookie card. And I also saw a Chrome, um, Topps Chrome rookie card in that box too. So I'm looking forward to getting that out. Uh, a Terrence West uh, patch. And then this um, Charlie Fry autograph. He was another one of our 45 quarterbacks the last uh, 20 years. So um, that's it. Um, I will go through all those boxes in the next couple of days. I'll organize them and I'll kind of take some time and it might be like a two-part video just kind of go through some of the hits um my content's a little low right now i'm not really buying too much um, as far as boxes or anything so this will kind of give me some opportunity to go through some some cards sort them organize them and, and kind of see what we got so i hope everyone has a, a, re a wonderful rest of their weekend don't forget that we have our 250 subscriber video um or well um giveaway and the video will be in the link below um and uh, that will be going down wednesday so I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their weekend, and we'll see you very soon.